I'm feeling it, bro. I am feeling it, bro. <laughs> this is a unique view. Not everybody will get the opportunity to see this in their lifetime. In today's video, we finally make the climb to Chapel Wadi, a journey that since began some two days ago. Oh, hello, guys. Good morning. It is another, you know, day in the thick jungle of the Mambila Plateau region of Nigeria. Yesterday night at about 8.30 p.m. we made it to Amansale. Amansale is the small Fulani settlement at the foot of Chapel Wadi. If you guys can look behind me, that is just Chapel Wadi right there. So yesterday getting here, we trekked for literally six hours non-stop. It was treacherous. We are tired. I am still tired, but I'm just trying to regain my strength. Yeah, but anyway, I must talk about the hospitality of these people. We got here late yesterday night and they were quick to welcome us in. I didn't really get the language they were speaking, although it was full and but they seemed very, very happy to meet all of the park rangers. And what that means is that they have been doing this sort of you know, communication or sort of coming here for the longest time. They were quick to, you know, give us food, give us water and welcome us in. And it was just really a nice sight to behold. For all of the cold that we had experienced on the way, I think they gave us the warmest reception ever. But yeah, today, this morning, we are going to start our official climb to Chapel Wadi and I can't wait. Actually, I can't wait because I'm too tired for a little bit. But yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> just before we started the climb, we had a quick chat with the lead ranger just to know how much of a role this humble village of Amasale plays in this landscape and in the Chapel Wadi climb. I am Saliu Basabo, okay. uh, Senior Park Inspector, okay. and Dance Officer at Gam Gam Ranch, okay. Ashwagumti National Park. Okay, mm. so yeah, we are in Amansale village right now. Just how long has this village been here? This village has been, has been long for a hundred years. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so and how often in your office do you bring tourists here? Yes, well, when the tourists, they, when they reach in their way, we take them down to here to Amansale to stay here before we proceed to Gangrua. So Amansale is essentially like an unofficial transit park. Yes, yes, it's, 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 it's official. It's official? It's official. Okay, so which brings me to my um, last question. So we came here, they welcomed us, they're giving us food, a lot of food actually. Yeah. Right? So just how much do you think this village benefits from the tourism or benefits from the national park? Uh, the, the village benefits from the... The national park and the tourists, sometimes the national park used to help them with something and the tourists too, when they come, they just give them, do them give, give them give, do them give, giving them something. Okay. Uh, the chief of the village, who happens to be very warm and welcoming, also mentioned how he likes to receive tourists. So we are now on our way. Also, the sun is south this morning, which is a good sign. And we are hoping that it stays this way. Bright and dry. <sighs> I had to stop for my first drink of water. We are really just on the first lap of this walk. We are going all the way there. Is this place now considered part of the national park from here? No. It's yet. We are yet to reach the uh, boundary. Okay, we are yet to reach the boundary. Yes, well, but we need to. Okay, all right. Should they take a rest? I say I need it. <laughs> I think we all do. We all do. We are now around say one hour 30 minutes into the trek and according to our tour guide he said it shouldn't take up to another one hour to get to Chapel Wadi. Hopefully that's if we don't take more breaks. <laughs> but yeah we're going we're moving away. It is also important to mention that we are still in Cameroon territory. We are yet to enter into Nigerian territory proper. We are the MPV. I know, right? I know. Let them know. Let them know. <laughs> this guy right here is the MPV. Yeah, man. He's never tired. I am sure he meant to say MVP. At this point, in this freezing temperatures and tough terrains, we are starting to feel a little disoriented. 
But just before our bodies started to cave in, we had our first sight of Dusen Dodo, one of the magical mountain ranges of Chapawadi. Although, we were yet to get to the top. As you guys can see in the background, Chapawadi, also called Gangerwao, translates to Mountain of Death in Fufude language, and that is because of an insurmountable gully that exists in the southern corner of the range. But we are here to get to the point where the actual signboard is. We are still going to go there, but just to show you guys the view, because of the weather, we might not get to see the view again. The cloud can cover it in any time. Are you feeling? <laughs> I am feeling it, bro. This is a unique view. Not everybody will get the opportunity to see this in their lifetime. We did it, bro. It is amazing. Guys, check it out. Located in Taraba State, near the border with Cameroon, in the Gashaka Gumti Forest Reserve and Gashaka Gumti National Park on the Mambila Plateau, Chapawadi stands at 2,419 meters above sea level, making it the highest point in Nigeria and West Africa. The mountain is a part of the Bamenda Adamawa Mandara mountain chain of Nigeria and Cameroon. Okay, we are in the middle of the humid jungle, as you guys can see. This is not a film set, this is real. <laughs> Honestly, I have nothing to say, but I just really wanted to show you guys the view. What this place looks like, this is incredible. Yeah, let's go. After a bit of energy boost, seeing the magical mountain range, the journey continued. But the accumulated fatigue, extreme temperatures, cold winds meant that we needed to stop again. She has not been walking for, for like six hours now. It's finally beginning to get to me. I am tired, I am hungry, I am thirsty, I am everything. All the work we've been doing all the way from Gimbu, everywhere, it's now finally getting to me because we've not really rested throughout since we've not really rested since we started this entire trip. This is a trip that normally, usually, you just come directly from wherever you are to just, you know, make the Chapawadi climb. But for us, for the past, today, today makes it about say maybe 13 or 14 days now we've been on the road. You know, so we've been going on and on, no rest, we've been climbing, jumping. Even when you are on a bike, it is still stressful because the roads are bad, even when you are in a car. And we've not really rested and we've been shooting, filming, I'm still using my brain mentally because I am even still editing, writing, thinking about what to say. So it's just crazy. It's really crazy. This is the toughest I've ever had to go on any project. But we need to get to the point where they put the sign that says Chapa Wadi. You know, so I know you are going to make it, but yeah, I must also admit that it is difficult at this point. And I even don't know, I just feel like lying down and sleeping right now. I am hungry. We have no, we didn't properly prepare for this Chapawadi part of the trip. We have no food, no water, we have nothing with us. I mean, we can just drink water from the stream, so that's even fine. But I am hungry. We have no biscuits, no small chop, nothing on us at all. I don't even eat cola, but I had to get cola just to chew something. And since giving up was not an option, we muzzled through all of the obstacles and we made it. This is it, as you can see. Congratulations, you have reached the summit, Chapawadi Gangerwa. I am speaking not only in Nigeria but in West Africa. We fucking did it. But I must also mention that. The way we did this trip, this is this is the, the, this is like the toughest way anyone could ever do it. Usually, people don't even do it this way. We actually went to see Chapel Wadi. This is that we actually went to see Chapel Wadi. This is something that has never been seen before. Just a few, a, a, a handful of people have been able to see Chapel Wadi and to also climb to this point here. So we did the both of them. And to also mention, we walked all the way from Unjawe to Amansale and walked from Amansale to this point. That is real bravery, that is real victory. It has never been done before. Despite the name translating to Mountain of Death, Chapawadi has been explored by climbers, researchers, conservation specialists, and coconut heads like Khalid and Bolu who have an unwavering passion to tell unique Nigerian stories. These mountain ranges are also a crucial part of the not so surrounding villages where majority of the inhabitants are headers of Nigeria and Cameroon origin. 
These landscapes help them feed their livestock and also enable them to earn a living. Okay guys, so it's another you know new day. We made it back here to Amansale with our last bit of energy yesterday. My entire body is broken. I'm sure Bolu's body is broken as well. You can check the camera for acknowledgement. Here you go. So yeah, this morning you're supposed to get out of Amansale back to Njawe, from Njawe back to Ngoroje, and from Ngoroje back to Gashaka where we have our luggages, and from there to Jalingo, and from Jalingo, you know, out of the entire Taraba state as a whole. Gebu Vlogs is not only an adventure but a discovery into all of the hidden potentials of the Mambila Play 2 region. Season 2 comes to an end, but this is only the beginning of this travel series. We hope you find this as an inspiration to travel, learn, and tell unique Nigerian and African stories of your own. Thank you for watching.